Every second, some 5 million cells die in our body. Every second, the same number of new cells is born. This balanced death birth cycle is at the basis of tissue regeneration. It is hardwired in human biology at the most fundamental level. Different mechanisms operate in our tissues to keep the cellular death birth cycle in balance. Programmed cell death is called apoptosis. It relies on multiple overlapping mechanisms to ensure that old or diseased cells are killed to keep the organism healthy. The counterpart of apoptosis is programmed cell birth. It includes two highly regulated processes, cell division and cell differentiation. The first category of cells involved in these processes is stem cells, present throughout life, from conception till death. Stem cells are primary stock material, maintained because of low-level cell division in all regenerating tissues. Similar to seeds, which play no role in direct development of leaves or roots, stem cells lack the characteristics of the terminally differentiated cells which make up a specific tissue. The first step in tissue regeneration is the division of a stem cell. One daughter cell is identical to its parent. Its job is to maintain the existing stock of stem cells. But the other daughter cell differentiates into a progenitor cell. It is very different from its parent. It inactivates stem cell specific genes. It activates tissue specific genes. It divides rapidly. It divides in a limited fashion, generating just the right number of terminally differentiated cells needed to replace the cells that are undergoing apoptosis. In short, the initial progenitor cell is committed to regenerate the tissue it belongs to in a very specific manner. While progenitor cells are active at all life stages, for the biotechnologist, the situation is particularly interesting during fetal development. Fetal progenitor cells are highly active. A small fetal skin sample from a single donor contains vast amounts of such cells. They can be isolated in a well-defined procedure. They can be grown in vitro and amplified at will to yield the starting material for tissue engineering products with amazing regenerative capacity. The science, the technology, and the engineering that make this possible lie at the heart of Elanix Biotechnologies.